Today on the mountain bike plane, we go to Flo, and me and my dad go to the There's Elodie on my bike. <clears throat> it's her favorite thing to hear. She loves hearing this sort of thing. We're here at Flo Trail. Well, almost at Flo Trail. Elodie is riding my bike. First time on what I'm calling Little Bluebell until she renames it. So this is a Santa Cruz Tallboy Carbon that we found on eBay and it was really beat up. It came from Colorado. And I really don't know what the person did to the bike because the seat post was broken, the brakes were broken, it has like mismatched parts. It used to have like a triple crank on it, which, right? And then they took off all of the, all of the chain rings except the smallest one. So it was kind of a little bit of a, ma a ba uh, basket case. Anyway, <clears throat> being the kind of guy who fixes up old houses, I just saw, I saw the potential and this bike came in two weeks ago. I managed to fix one of the brakes. The other one was actually completely broken. I fixed the seat post, which was an adventure. And I ended up replacing the cranks just because I was in a good mood and found some cheap ones on eBay. But this is actually Ellie's first time riding like her size on this trail. And you wouldn't know it because she's not going very fast. <clears throat> but she does look much more comfortable. And most importantly, I am riding my own bike. In fact, the last three times here, I've ridden three different bikes now. First was Ellie's bike, which was a kind of a disaster. Not her bike, this is not her bike, but it was her school bike. Then I rode, go ahead. Then I rode <sighs> Then I rode the drop bar Santa Cruz, which is like a demon, however <laughs> All right I Let's go Park Santa Cruz is uh, pretty fun, but let's just say it's not this bike. And now, thanks to my wallet and credit card, I'm on my own bike. We are in Flow Trail. 8.45 in the morning. It's gonna be a very busy day here. And no crashing. Now everyone heard me say it, so she crashes, she did not obey me. Yeah! And this is a little more fun than the drop bar bike. This is segment one of Flow, the most famous trail in all of Santa Cruz, maybe all of California right now. Flow is 4.1 miles, meticulously handcrafted by trail artisans. This wasn't here when I was a youngster. Well, I'm actually still a youngster, but it was 
was opened, I think 2016. Six segments. <clears throat> this is segment one. There's lots of pretty amazing stuff on here. It's kind of like Disneyland for mountain bikers. It can get like that too, as far as crowds. That's why we're here early. Look at these turns. It's just like, what? Are you kidding me? Ever been stuck behind a slow biker? I'm not slow. I'm making a hypothetical statement here. Look at his turn. Oh, Ellie, be cool. <laughs> if you've ever been stuck behind a slow bike, look at his turn. It's just magic. appreciate when people move over to let you go. So kids, if there's anything that you learn from watching this, is to let your fellow bikers go if they're faster than you. Because if they can stick on your tail while you're doing your best, then they're definitely faster than you. Because they can't see the trail. So just let them go. Plus, it's annoying having someone behind you. Kind of like Ellie's annoyed about me being behind her. If you've ever watched the Mountain Bike Twins video, you would have noticed that Elodie has never worn these clothes. These are birthday gifts. Pretty stylish, pretty lucky. All I got for my birthday was like a rotten lemon. Hint, hint. Whoa! Oh, you okay? I hope so. <laughs> you didn't do it, don't worry. <laughs> what happened? Here, I got it. Oh. Wow, you all right, honey? That was a real wreck.
for those of you who are still in shock, that was probably the best wreck that we've seen in a while. And I'm very glad that Ellie did not, A, get hurt, B, break my bike, or C, crash into Poison Oak. Because any one of those could have happened. <clears throat> We'll do a full review of the tapes later. Find the true cause, the crash. Punish those who are responsible. There'll be some sort of cash payment involved, I'm sure. this turn. Holy moly. Holy gosh. So a little update. My dad lost his glasses so he had to go back up to the top of the floor trail again to go get them.
Okay, so a little update. My dad did end up breaking his collarbone after that crash, but he's okay now after he went to the hospital. And this is the end of my video, so thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like. See you guys next time.